Don't skip this video because God wants to share something important with you. Watch this video until the end. In the last of the video, we're inviting you to participate in a strong, heartfelt prayer in the name of Jesus. So, watch till the end of this video and be open to receiving blessings from it. God says to you today, the world is about to encounter you all over again. You've dedicated so many days, months, and years to uplifting your mind, body, and spirit. It's about to pay off in every way. You managed to turn your entire self around with your growing inner strength and your rising faith. A new you has been born. This revitalized you is unstoppable, reaching immeasurable heights. This fresh you is too busy being grateful for blessings to be bothered by roadblocks. The universe sees what's in your heart. Keep your feet firmly planted into this version of you. It's the best one yet. Like this video if you believe in God. We know that all things work together for the good of those who love God, those whom He has called according to His plan. Romans 8.28 Today, remember that all things are working together for your good. God is taking everything about you, your past and present, and molding you into a vessel fit for the Master's use. God wants people to look at you and see that His favor cannot be matched. So, don't worry about what you don't have or where you messed up. The plan for your future is greater than the mistakes of your past. Be blessed and be encouraged. Share this video if you love God. God's timing is perfect, even when we can't understand it. We'll never fully understand God's timing because God exists on a different wavelength. He is timeless. He has a different view of time. The Bible talks about God's understanding of time in 2 Peter 3.8, saying, Do not forget this one thing, dear friends. With the Lord, a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like a day. God's timelessness has significant implications for your life. When God created you, He put a dream in your heart. Most people start off with a big vision and a big goal. They have some kind of dream, plan, or project for their life. What vision has God given you? It seems that while everybody tends to start off early in life with a vision, as time goes on, more and more people give up on their dream before it's accomplished. The reason is often that it doesn't happen fast enough. Maybe you have had your dream battered, broken, or buried out of discouragement and disappointment. God doesn't want you to do that. If God gave you a dream for your life, it will happen. It just has to happen on His timetable, not yours. God says this about your dream, the vision will still happen at the appointed time. It hurries toward its goal. It won't be a lie. If it's delayed, wait for it. It will certainly happen. It won't be late. Habakkuk 2.3 Remember this powerful truth. God is never early in your life. He is never late in your life. God is always right on time. Type 999 to claim it. Don't worry too much over whether someone's intentions toward you are genuine or not. The universe sees everything. Worry about staying true to who you really are and continue shining your light as you maneuver through your journey in time. Everything will be revealed to you in the right order. But for now, put your energy on what truly matters, your inner growth. When your heart is always in the right place, the universe sets your blessings up differently. Continue being exactly who you are and you'll find yourself in the winner's circle every day. Like this video if you believe in God. Character and wisdom are sculpted over time. They come with loss, lessons, and triumphs. They come after doubts, second guesses, and exploring unknowns. 
If there were a definitive path to happiness and success, everyone would be on it. The seeds of your progress are planted in your past failures. Your best stories will come from overcoming your greatest struggles. Your praises will be birthed from your pain. So, keep standing, keep learning, and keep living. Type 333 to claim it. You've been waiting long enough. It's time for you to claim the life you want to live by stepping into the shoes of the person you want to become. No more hesitating, no more overthinking, and no more doubting the moves you have to take next. Start walking like your future self. Start talking like your future self. Start emulating your future self, mind, body, and spirit. Trust that the rest of the pieces will fall into place along the way. Right now, the universe is carving out a new path for you. Get ready for the shift. Type 101 to claim it. The things you've been through have taken something away. You've lost some shine, some of your innocence, and along the way, you've also lost you. You don't do the things you love to do. You don't get excited the way you did in the old days. But if you'll take my hand, I have a plan. I'm going to teach you how to war for your happiness, how to contend for your joy, child. I'm going to show you how to intercede for your own soul, and at the end of it all, you'll have your fire back. Type 333 to claim now. This is the time for a special prayer. Dear God, I'm so grateful that I reached this hour safe. Thank you for your continued guidance and protection upon me and my family. I will never be tired of asking for your fatherly love, mercy, and compassion. Thank you, Father, for my family and friends who are always there to support and comfort me in my struggles in life and inspiration to live in this world. This night, I surrender myself to you. Lord, please continue to safeguard me and my family. I ask this prayer with humility through Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Type Amen to affirm. The light of God surrounds me. The love of God unfolds me. The power of God protects me. The presence of God watches over me. The mind of God guides me. The life of God flows through me. The laws of God direct me. The power of God abides within me. The joy of God uplifts me. The strength of God renews me. The beauty of God inspires me. Wherever I am, God is. Type 9999 to claim it. Dear Lord, thanks for being my provider and comforter. I come to you in prayer today to ask for peace. Lord, I worry too much about everything, but I know that worrying accomplishes nothing. So, I pray that you grant me the strength and courage to be able to let go of this fear and worry that has taken over my mind and my heart. Help me to let go and trust in you. Remind me that you are always in control. I pray you grant me the patience I need to withstand this storm. Let me feel your comfort and warm embrace while you calm my anxious mind. Thank you for your loving kindness. Type 1111 to claim it. O oh Lord, thank you for everything you do for me, including the answers to my small prayers. Please forgive me for my lack of faith sometimes, and please help me to rely on you more. I pray for my family, job, and finances. May your power sustain me, and may I live in the confidence of your provision for me. You are my God, and I appreciate your loving kindness and grace. As I go to bed, protect me from the evil one and bless me with good dreams. May your will be done. In Jesus' name, amen. Type 222, if you believe in God. Dear God, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son. You know all about my life and circumstances. Nothing that has happened to me is unknown to you. I now consciously forgive all those who have spoken negatively and done hurtful things to me. 
Lord, I place them on your altar and ask you to bless them. I now submit all my hurts and woundings to you and ask you to release my wounded spirit to be healed in Jesus' mighty name. I speak to my spirit to come into divine order that I may rise up again in your name and know the joy and freedom of being made whole. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you hear and answer my cry right now. I accept my healing and give myself afresh to you. Please take over my life and let me live it in abundance to glorify you every day. In Jesus' name, I pray these things. Amen. Type God, make my day to claim it. Heavenly Father, embrace me with your tranquility and love so that my mind can be at ease. Break every chain of negative thoughts and speak prosperity and positivity into my life. For life and death are in the power of the tongue. Therefore, I declare and decree that every stronghold in my life produced by negative thought patterns is broken in Jesus' mighty name. Father God, before I start doing my task today, I just want to say thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for preserving my life and for protecting me throughout the night. Being able to rise up from bed is indeed a miracle I've received. Lord, thank you so much. Today I pray, Lord, for your mighty presence to continually guide us and protect us for the rest of the day. Let this day be filled with blessings, favors, and healing. We entrust our lives to you alone, Lord, and wholeheartedly submit to your will. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Type 222 to affirm. Father Lord, thank you for your love and protection of my life. Thank you for the forgiveness of sins and for your grace that I may be able to come close to you. Today I pray that you draw me close to you. Teach me to hear and understand your voice when you speak to me. Help me to do as you command and to live a life that is pleasing in your eyes. Give me the strength to not fall under the influence of the world. Help me to live a life that is blameless to the people around me. Help me to forsake sin and be able to pursue a life of holiness. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God, sometimes I don't feel like I have the words to pray. I don't always know what to say to you. What do I say to someone who is perfect in every way? Please help me remember that you want to hear from me. Give me the confidence to speak what's on my heart with you, but help me to do so with respect. And please, let these honest conversations lead me to a deeper sense of awe, wonder, and love for you. Show me how to talk with you and then make me eager to do it regularly. In Jesus' name, amen. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you this day for the wonderful opportunity given to us. We thank you for the gifts of life, that of our families and friends, and the breath in us. Thank you for the goodness and blessings over our life and the sacrifice that we may have life and freedom. Forgive us for our sins and iniquities, especially when we do not thank you enough for who you are, what you do in our lives, and what you have given us. As we're about to start the day, O oh Lord, enlighten our hearts and eyes that we may see you and your work today. Guide our path, O oh Lord, and let your spirit and power be with us that we might not fall into any temptation. Give us wisdom and understanding to make the best choices. Fill us with your desires. Grant us a cheerful spirit, even when things do not go our way. Guide and protect each and every one of us as we soak our body and soul into the blood of Jesus. Fill us with happiness and let your will be done in our lives today. Dear God, I will never get tired of saying thank you because you never get tired of waking me up each day. Thank you for extending my life, Lord, for the chance to live with my family and loved ones. You're the only reason I made it this far today. I open my heart and mind and invite you to live within me. I want to start this day with you 
O God. I know you're always with me in every step of the way, leading and directing my every step. I embrace every challenge of this day, and with your strength, everything is possible. May this day be filled with good things from heaven and answered prayers. In Jesus' name, amen. Share this video with those who love God. Donate to support our channel. Type amen if you agree.